Hi students, the next concept that we need to talk about before we can connect an op amp into a circuit and start evaluating it is gain and feedback. So um, let me show you what feedback is. So if we have an op amp like this, and remember we have two inputs, we've got the inverting input and we have the non-inverting input, and here's our output. Feedback is when we connect the output to one of the inputs. Okay, so in this particular case, I have tied um, the output to the inverting input, right, the negative one. So this is called a negative feedback loop. And it turns out that almost all of the circuits with op, op amps are used with a negative feedback loop. Okay, so it's kind of one of the specifications of um, the ideal operation for an op amp is it needs a negative feedback loop. So we're going to see this quite a lot. Um, sometimes you'll also see a resistor in this loop, and if so, that's called the feedback resistor, and I'll label that R sub F for feedback resistor. And the other kind of feedback loop we can have is if we tie the output to the non-inverting input like this. Okay, um, so if you see a feedback loop like this, then the gain of this op amp is going to be what's called the closed loop gain. Okay, so we've already defined open loop gain, and now we're going to talk about closed loop gain. So the open loop gain, remember, this is um, a value of A that's really, really large. So it's A of about like 10 to the fifth or something like that. And it's an intrinsic value of the op amp. Basically, if we connect it in a circuit without any kind of feedback loop, and some problems, we will be given um, some inputs and the open loop gain, and we have to determine the output. Um, but if you do see a feedback loop like this, which in most problems we will, we're going to be um, we're going to be using this closed loop gain. And the closed loop gain, gain is kind of like a more kind of intuitive definition of what gain is. It's V out over V in. So if you take your output and you divide by your input, if there is some amplification that occurs on the output and you divide by the input, then that's going to give you the ratio um, that the amplifier boosted your input signal. Okay, so it makes sense that this would be if you take the ratio of your output to your input, that would give you your gain. So how much of like an increase or a decrease you had with respect to your input. So um, again, if you have a feedback loop, then you have closed loop gain. If you have no feedback loop, then you have open loop gain. And um, when we think if there's anything else I need to tell you, open loop gain is usually very large. Closed loop gain can be anything, um, basically we get to determine what that is based on the resistors in the circuit that we do. But it might be something like four or three over eight or something like that. Okay, so it's gonna be some value that is um, a little bit more down to earth rather than this giant open loop gain. Okay, so um, we let me know if you have any questions about gain and feedback, and um, we can start doing some op amp circuits.